What's going on everyone? Welcome back. If I'm going to stop this video right here. If you're new to this channel, hit like, hit subscribe. If you're a regular, hit like. You guys are going to like this video that I've got. You've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. I got another customer's car in here. We're going to do quite a simple job on it. I'm going to do a couple touch-ups on it just, just to make the, make the customer feel like he's getting a little more than what he uh, originally came for. I already see some things I'm going to touch up for him. And uh, let's just jump right into this and we're going to explain what we're doing. So this customer dropped off his bubble. It's a case swap. He wants a very simple job. He wants me to install this uh, S90 throttle body. It's a 70 mil. I went out. I got him a, a thermal gasket and a plug. We'll talk about this plug in a minute. Well, when we start going. And a new Acuity TPS sensor he wants installed. We're going to calibrate that sensor once we uh, plug into K-Pro. He has K-Pro. It's going to be a lot easier. And uh, just wire in a new IAT for him. And I got some plans for this too. So we'll go over the car real quick. I don't want to talk too much about it. It's not my car, it's a customer's car. But you know, it's just just a case swap. He's got he's running a stock throttle body, stock TPS. So we're gonna get started by uh, removing the pipe off, get the stock throttle body off, and um, cleaning up the mating surfaces. We got the whole throttle body off, we got all the sensors unhooked. I just had to uh, scrape a whole bunch of RTV off of this. Originally, the way this was installed, they didn't put a gasket between the throttle body and this uh, adapter plate. They just kind of RTV'd it. I mean, it works. That's not the way I do it. That's kind of like a last resort for me. If you can't find a gasket, you know, just RTV it and it'll work. Um, it wor Obviously, it worked on here, but I'm, the way I wanted to do this, I just wanted to make sure I got a gasket. So that's why I went out and I bought a gasket. So this is all cleaned up. I have a rag in there because there was RTV coming around any everywhere. I cleaned up the uh, bolt holes right here for the throttle body because they had some RTV in them. So all I did was I just pulled out my, uh, my rethreader kit. I rethreaded the holes, cleaned them all up, sprayed the inside with brake clean, and then I just used a small air compressor to blow all the rest out. So these are good. Uh, this is the hardware he had on the throttle body. It works. Um, it did its job. I'm going to be replacing that hardware with uh, some bolts I have. Actually, here. I'll show you where I got the bolts. Bolts are all over here. So I'm going to be using uh, some of these guys, just some nicer hardware, some of the Allen heads. It's going to work. So now what I'm going to do, that's pretty much done. That's good to go. I was looking at the, uh, you know, the adapter right here. It's oxidized. I don't know. It doesn't look that good. So I'm just going to spend some time. I have some uh, aluminum polish. Polish this up. I'm going to polish up his, uh, his throttle body as well, you know, to use. So I'm going to clean this up. Probably gonna swap over these uh, brackets for the throttle cable. This one looks nicer. It's aluminum. I think this is K. Yeah, this is a K Tune one. Oh, you can't see. It's got a glare. It's a K Tune one. Polish this up. Make everything look nice. Let's see if I have some extra bolts. I might throw some extra bolts in here. Little touches, man. Little touches make a big difference, especially for a customer. So when he comes to see the car, he's gonna see it looks a lot better than what it was when he dropped it in. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. Polish this, and uh, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully these screws, uh, they crack loose for me so I can swap everything over. Our new throttle body is all set up now. We got the map sensor on there, the IAC valve. I did have to use uh, an impact driver to uh, crack both the IAC valve and the map sensor bolts. It, it's expected. All I did was just put the old throttle body on a vise, turn it around, use an impact driver. I got them off. I was able to find, a, well, I had it in my stock. A nicer map bolt so that way that just looks a little nicer it's just a uh, an allen head bolt I reused the old ones on the bottom because well nobody's really gonna see them polish the uh, k-tune throttle cable arm so that looks better the whole throttle by itself it's got the whole polish I'm gonna give it a, another polish when it's on the car just because it's it'll be more more solid so I could put a little more pressure when it's on the on the manifold and try to get in the areas where people will see mostly and uh, I'll polish that up really good. So now we're going to get our Acuity TPS bolted in loosely and then put the throttle body back on. All right, so we kind of ran into our first little hiccup while uh, installing this setup. So unfortunately, it seems, you know, obviously because the throttle body is bigger than the stock one, the K-Tune throttle arm is very close to the butterfly. And when you go to install the cable, it kind of like locks up it's binding it's touching so you can't like open and close the throttle smoothly i'm going to show you what i mean there's a couple options that i can do i'm going to see which one is the best one for me right now so here's the throttle cable that i'm trying to install and you can see how tight uh this little area is right here so if i go to uh 
to grab the cable let's just we're just going to slide this in right now just for demonstration but you can see it's already uh touching right there so if i was to try to open this i can't this is because it's uh it's binding right here i kind of made a score line in the back let's see if you can uh see it a little better maybe not you know what let me get rid of this throttle cable even with the throttle cable out of the way you can just see this area how tight it is um the, the bracket that came with the throttle body was this black one and if we were to put it like this you can actually see how much tighter it is so this would be the one to run it doesn't really look that good it just started pouring out now i don't know if you guys can see that but i don't really like the way it looks i really like the k-tune one um options it's like really shaved down this uh this bracket but because it's all one piece it's like all one giant curve i don't know if i can actually shave it down nicely um that's actually the only way to do it is you have to shave this bracket down to make it work i might put this one on for him and uh maybe if he wants i'll hold on to this because i mean it, it's, it's it's obviously raining outside i'd want to shave this outside because once you start shaving aluminum it just gets everywhere and i don't want to do it in the garage i was thinking of trying to put it on the uh on the band saw but it's not flat like i'm saying it's all curved i don't think it would work so let me try to figure this out uh, but other than that here's the throttle body here's everything you can see it's all polished up better i gave it another hand polish looks a lot better so let me figure out this throttle situation so i ended up putting the bracket on the band saw i chopped that section out it actually came out pretty good i was happy with that I just mocked it up and now I'm like looking at it and I'm realizing this bracket wasn't going to work anyway uh, because this bracket is meant for stock throttle bodies. I didn't know that and now that I'm looking at it, the angle of where the throttle cable goes to the butterfly now, which is like way off now that it fits the way it should, or it fits better, it does, it, it's not, it's not going to work and uh, I'll show you what I mean by the angle and we're going to have to use that other uh, bracket unfortunately I didn't want to. I tried to make this one work, it would have if it was a stock throttle body. I don't know if you guys can actually see the, the, the shape that I put on it, but now there's clearance and if I was to put the, uh, the, brack or the cable up here it would work, but then I, again, I didn't even realize there was a lower, um, or there's another point right here, so it would have worked down here. I didn't have to shave it, but what I'm talking about is this angle from here to the butterfly. So we'll grab the throttle cable, we'll put it in loosely, and let's just say, let me get this up right here just so that way this is uh not in our way but you can kind of see here you can actually just see it like this you can see how the butterfly is here cables here if i was to wrap it around the cable would actually be something like this at an angle this is for the cruise control because the cruise control goes here and then it pushes the uh, actual throttle blade over so since we don't have cruise control here you can see how the the cable actually wants to sit right there that's not going to work. We're going to have to use the other one, which is right here. I already checked it out. It's a lot shorter, or the angle is a lot less. You can see it where it would be. So this guy's going to have to go back on, and uh, then we can move forward. So that sucks. I, I put some time into making that work, and we couldn't use it. Here we go. We have this uh, throttle cable back on, uh, bracket back on. I'm sure if he wanted to, he could probably take this off and paint it later on in the day. Uh, our angle. It's perfect the cables going nice and straight so now we have this last port right here which is exposed this is actually off of like stock throttle bodies this is your evap port normally you can just put a plug in here and you plug it be done my guys at k-tune k-tune makes everything they actually make a block off port that we could put right here it's gonna look nice your part number is not on the back i'll get you guys a part number or i'll leave this in the description but it's an evap block off port and it's for uh for this guy exactly right here once we're done with this we could put our intake back on yo look at that that just looks so much better it looks more complete you don't just have a plug just sitting there it, it goes with this whole billet theme i'm really happy the way this turns out uh our intake is on there now another thing that he wanted us to, or wanted me to do is to uh wire in this new pigtail because his iat he just kind of had it uh hanging around kind of anywhere and it ended up uh i don't know if it dragged or something but the connectors busted so that's no problem i'll take care of that for him but since he had it just hanging i want to put it where it belongs i want to put it into the pipe so we have all this extra uh wire what i'm going to do is i'm probably just going to cut all this cut it a lot shorter since we're going to splice something new in there 
and uh, maybe make a mark back here in the intake where you can't see it just right here. I'm going to put a hole in here. I'm going to put a grommet. That way he can actually put the IAT into the intake. It's really kind of hidden. It's a little tucked and um, you know, it's done proper. Just as I want to finish this car up, I'm running into issues, uh, primarily tool issues. So I finished everything up. Well, I had the pipe done um, and I was going to show you the pipe. I'll show you the pipe at the end, but I'm ready to pretty much start calibrating this TPS. I went to hook up my K-Pro to it, and as soon as I hooked the K-Pro up, it's telling me that the uh, the ECU is pretty much locked. So I can't get into the ECU with my K-Pro, so whatever. I'll do it the old school way. I'll start calibrating the TPS through uh, jumping, well not jumping, but basically tapping in to the red and black wire. As soon as I'm doing that, I'm not even getting a full 4 volt, 5 volt, a full throttle. I'm getting like 2.5. So now I'm just trying to check the battery voltage, see if I got enough battery voltage on the car. Now I'm reading like 16 volts with just ignition on. And then I took my voltmeter off and then the volts slowly start dropping 15, 14, 13. I'm pretty sure my voltmeter is just not working right, which is why I can't get the right voltage. I called Carter up, he said he might have one, he might stop by if I could borrow his voltmeter. So it's like that last 10% I need to finish the car, now it's really holding me up. Carter showed up, Carter's saving the day right now, he brought his... Uh, his multimeter for me right here and uh, we're just testing this out Carter let me get your uh, let me get your assistance see if you can hold the camera on the uh, voltmeter so they could see what we're looking for well first if you're gonna do this the old school way you're gonna wanna I'm using just a t-pin go into the middle wire which is the red and black that's all you need then you put the voltmeter to ground on the battery and so at idle this should be 0 0.44, 0 0.45, which we're like almost perfect to where I want to be. And now at full throttle, we should see about four and a half to five volts. So there's our four and a half, it's perfect. Back to zero, make sure we go back to 0 0.4445. It's a little lower, go back to full throttle. Four and a half volts. I might adjust it one more time just to try to get it maybe like 4.6. But that's the gist of how you basically calibrate your TPS. Just always go to the red and black wire. Uh, what I kind of did is I actually de-pinned the wire, pulled it back, cut the weather stripping or the weather pack off of it so I can pull that away. I can make better contact with my pin. And then when I'm done, I'll just shove the weather pack back in there. Some people might not like to do it that way, but it's gonna work. Acuity actually makes like a jumper harness with little terminals on it. So that way you don't have to do this. You can just touch the back of the terminals. I'll see if I can leave that in the description so let me finish this up and call the customer this car is done so i got some bad news all right we're uh finished the car up everything was calibrated the way it needed to be i want to take the car out for a drive the car it's uh it's bucking all over the place it's it's not it's not running right basically i've spent the last hour trying to diag why this car isn't running right one of the main problems that is slowing my process down of trying to diag this car is the ECU is locked. The, the car is tuned from another tuner. The tuner locked their ECU. I can't get into the map. I can't see data of what's, what's going on with this car and, and why it's running the way it is. No matter what I've tried, I, I can't get into the ECU. I think the issue this car is having is tune related. Um, it just, as soon as you start to give it gas, the whole car bucks, but it's, it's like a surging buck. Um, I tracked it down to where even if the car is sitting at idle sitting at like a thousand rpms it's fine as soon as you start to lightly uh, press the gas and give it more rpms once it reaches 2000 rpms the car starts to surge up and down and the more rpms you give it the more higher the, the surge goes kind of like the issue i was having with my car until you pass like uh 3500 rpms then the rpms just shoot you know like like if you're giving it full throttle that, that sounds tune related to me. That sounds like they're somewhere in that map from that two to 3,500 RPM range. It's not seeing something. Something is not, it, it's not right. Otherwise it'd be doing it at idle all the time, this surging. And I have no codes. And if I, even if I did, I can't, they're not, it, they're not meeting their criteria to throw the light on yet. I spoke with the owner of the car. Uh, this is not his everyday car. He was gonna, once he got the car back, he was going to, actually take the manifold off send it to get ported and and you know the car was going to sit for a little bit longer so he wasn't going to drive the car immediately he was going to do some other work to it 
my suggestion is the car needs to get retuned now with the throttle body on there it's just stuff has changed the tune can be probably so tight that just changing the size of the throttle body is throwing the tune off in that in that small section so i'm just going to interrupt this clip right here uh because basically the rest of this clip is just me talking about how you know i'm upset i couldn't fix it or whatever but i did end up figuring it out uh after about an hour i i couldn't leave this car alone i needed to figure out or i needed to know why it was doing what it was doing i didn't want to give the car back like this and uh this all stems down to the ecu being locked so because the ecu is locked even though we um we adjusted the new tps correctly uh the ecu was still seeing the old settings of the old tps because the ecu is locked so the only way to really fix this car would be to unlock the K Pro, go into the settings and calibrate the TPS through K Pro and then upload that setting. So because we can't do that, no matter how many times you adjust the TPS, it won't make a difference because the ECU is not seeing that adjustment. It's locked into seeing what was set when the car was tuned. So that's, I just wanted to give you guys that clarification. If you ever run into this and you can't figure it out and your ECU is locked, you need to get the ECU unlocked by whoever locked it and then upload your uh, TPS settings that way and that'll fix everything so uh, hopefully that helps you guys that's what was wrong with this car and now we'll just finish this clip I have some more customer cars coming in just keeping myself busy and giving you guys more content stay motivated and keep making those streets louder